Here we have filter shops, filter bottle. What you basically get in the box is the bottom part of the bottle, the top part of the bottle, one cartridge, a lid, the float that um, actually controls the water flow into the cooler, and a little mineral pot. The first thing you do when you unpack it is you throw away the mineral pot that just causes bacteria growth and all the manufacturers put them in there. It's not a good idea to, to have it in the unit. Then um, the next step that you want to do is you want to take all the plastic parts, the bottom, the top, the float and the lid and just go give it a good wash with um, First, first with soap and then with something like a jig or Milton just to make sure that it's completely sterile, that you're starting off with a sterile environment for your water and not um, bringing potential contamination into the water before, before any, anything has actually gotten into it. The next step you want to do is you want to take your filter. The filter actually consists of two components, the top part and the bottom part here. The top part has granular activated carbon resin for removing hardness and then there's some mineral stones here at the top and the bottom which honestly add a very little bit of minerals but not really anything significantly and then at the bottom there's a, a particle filter. So the first thing you want to do before installing it into the bottle is you actually want to detach the top and the bottom part from each other and then take the, just this top part and just flush it out with um, with some water and this will get rid of all the dust that, that's sitting in the carbon. Otherwise you use a lot of your filter's capacity purely on catching the dust that's um, coming off of the activated carbon. Once, you're, once you have this done, you take the top part of the bottle and, and, watch out for the ring, and the, the cartridge actually just turns into the top part of the bottle. Get this ring back on. And then this sits on top of the, the bottom part here. We'll get, get to that, that in a moment. The next part is this, this float that actually controls the water that's in the filtered water side from going in and out of the, the cooler here. It's got a little nut that you just loosen by hand. And then, and this is very important, it's got two seals here. and. They're sometimes stuck together and you need to just pry them apart from each other as you will, um, will need one of them over the float, just over the thread, and then you can put the float with the one, one seal in through the bottom, bottom hole here. Then you need to place the, the other seal and then just tighten with the nut. It doesn't need to be that tight, but tighten it fairly tightly by hand, and then it is normally more than sufficient for a good seal. Now I've got assembled assembled bottom bolt. The top literally just slides into the bottom like that, and then you place the lid, lid on top. This is now the completely assembled bottle. The next thing is how do you actually fit this to a cooler? The top section of the cooler would normally have some kind of a cap in to be able to fit the bottled, bottled water bottles. Normally this would just require a twist and a lift and then the whole cap section um, can be removed. Once you've removed the cap section, ensure that the cooler is clean, clean on the inside. Again, same thing, you can clean it with a, with a wet cloth and especially a, some Jekyll or Milton is a very good idea. And then you can actually place the whole filter bottle on top of the unit. Depending on the design of the cooler, some of them it sits very sturdily immediately. It's got little rings for centering. Others, um, like the specific unit we're using to demo here, it is a little bit on the loose side, but when the bottle starts to fill with water, it um, does sit, sit a, a lot more sturdy. Um, th so once you have it on there, you simply take the top cap off, pour your um, municipal water into the top here and that runs through the filters and fills up the bottom. The one thing to be very careful of is not to overfill the bottles as there's nothing physically preventing this from, from overflowing at the top here. So only 
filled this, this top part up when the bottom part is almost empty as you don't want um, the water level to overflow over the top here because it just results in a, in a big mess. Then lastly, very importantly, is these filters are only designed for relatively good quality municipal water and there's nothing in them to block bacteria. So if you think you have, might have a problem with bacteria, this is not the right solution. Rather have a, have a look at some of our other options for that. And that's basically it.